Teresa. And reacting to the latest developments involving those arrests is El Cajon Mayor Bill Wells. Mayor Wells, we appreciate you being here. Of course, a very disturbing story. Still a lot of people wondering how this happened in the first place, but I've got to ask first and foremost, do we have any update on if the victims have been identified? Any any more that you've heard from investigators? No, we're working on that. We've got the, the phones of the men who did this, and through that, we'll, we'll be able to get more information about who the girls were by at least how they look, but sure. that's one of the reasons we're reaching out to the news media. We'd like to find out who these people were and offer them treatment and help. Sure. Well, and of course, again, as I mentioned so many questions here, what is your reaction right now to what's happening? You have been a very uh, loud critic of those homeless voucher programs. Uh, what are you thinking when you hear and you see that press release that El Cajon police had to put well, out? Well, I'm saddened, but I'm, I'm also furious. I mean, this shouldn't have happened. This didn't have to happen. We, we said this was going to happen. If they, if they were so flippant and cavalier about placing dangerous sex offenders in our city, that this kind of thing would happen. They say, oh no, that's not gonna happen. These are just homeless folks that are down on their luck. They're, you're being cruel and you're, you're being judgmental by saying that they have criminality or that they're sex offenders. But that's not the case at all. Was this a matter of, of slipping through the cracks? Did they just not see that these two men were registered sex offenders? Or are you thinking that they allowed them to live or take part in the um, voucher program knowing that they were sex offenders? Uh, we're, we're doing an investigation. But I, you know, I think when you catch somebody doing something and they say, oh, this is the first time that ever happened, that's never the case. This is going on. This is happening all the time. I think the, the county is incredibly cavalier about this. I think that they want to have this voucher program and they want to have it in El Cajon because they don't want it in their neighborhoods and they don't like El Cajon. They don't like our politics and they don't like the people that live in El Cajon. So they're more than willing to pollute our neighborhoods with this kind of thing. Because I think what everybody should be taking note of here is that if this happened in El Cajon, there are other hotel vouchers that are being uh, fulfilled in other parts of the county. And is this happening in other uh, hotels? Is this happening in other um, situations? Situations and, and what right now is the county saying about that? It is happening in other parts, but but most of them are in, in El Cajon. The preponderance of the people in this program are in El Cajon. That's what I've been uh, raising the alarm about for several months now. Why should El Cajon have most of these people? Why do these people come from San Diego? San Diego has programs. San right. Diego should be able to take care of their own problems like this. They don't need to send them to El Cajon. The Days in on Ash Street, that is in the city of San Diego. That's it where is. I believe they picked up one of those clients, or at least one of the... Well, they, uh, both, they both met each other there. One of them came out to El Cajon, and the other one came out and brought the girls with him so they could party. And what happens now that this has kind of exposed what appears to be a huge problem with potential oversight of who is getting these vouchers and, and what's happening? That's a pretty serious thing for us. I think we've reached a tipping point. Um, we've been trying to comply with the state of California. Uh, we've been trying to comply with the county. We've been trying to, to comply with the interpretation of the rule of law. But I think we're going to have to put a stop to this program. And if that means standing up to the state of California, so be it. If that means getting sued, then so be it. Uh, we're going to meet with council tomorrow. We're going to have an emergency session uh, to talk about this. But I'm going to be advocating for uh, stopping this program no matter what, no matter what, what what the risk is, we've got to protect people first. And what's your uh, message to the public right now if maybe uh, they know someone or they are worried about somebody that could have potentially been a victim uh, uh, in this instance specifically, what do you want them to know? Well, the only thing that we have to fight back against is, is information. And the county does not want to give us information. They don't answer our phone calls. They don't answer our emails. We still don't know who's to take responsibility for this for who, who brought these people to El Cajon. And that shouldn't be that way, they should tell us. So, but there are people out there who know things. There's somebody out there that knows these girls. And there's somebody, somebody out there who knows the situation is happening or other situations like that. Please let us know so we can bring all this to light and let it be disinfected by sunlight. I mean, truly a, a very sad, sad day for San Diego County to have seen something like this happen. Uh, Mayor Wells, we know that you are going to continue to update us as this case moves forward. And of course, we are hoping uh, that those victims are found very soon so they can get that.